I'm uh, Will Burrows, a VP of Design for Crazy Tooth Studio. I'm Steve Kopnick, I'm a Game Design Specialist. Uh, ancient Warriors. Uh, what is unique about Ancient Warriors? It's got a unique real layout. Uh, yeah, we did some, some new experimental uh, 3D mesh stuff in this, in this new game. Yeah, so first time we've had uh, real-time 3D objects being rendered on the screen. First time we've, we've done 3D art, or 3D art creation, but never real-time on the screen. Yep. So that was the magic of Steve here. That was, that was some, some fun experimenting to get that right. Yeah, uh, when you see the warriors explode into pieces, you did that. Uh, I did, <laughs> I did. <laughs> the warriors exploding into pieces. Yeah, I gotta say. Maybe I'm biased because it's, you know it was my my pet project. Your technical I quite prowess. Like it. The majors look like these geometric. What is it? A a tiger and a dragon and a monkey. Snake and a snake. Um, the way they move and the way they're animated looks looks uh, looks like the 3D models of the warriors, but that's actually all 2D animation done by Jason Newmark, which is pretty cool. Our uh, animator guy. We had this whole conversation about Burning Man because there was one year there was a giant warrior statue. Yeah, and so Ben and I were talking about how, uh, what if you had this really elaborate statue out of Burning Man? It's a week long festival and it's just standing there all week. And then the last day it just starts moving <laughs> and everybody <laughs> at that point would be out of their minds <laughs> losing it that this like huge statue. So yeah. I think that actually kicked it off. But that is had... a great idea. Yeah, I mean, it'd be amazing. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Yeah, I don't know. I, I started my career as an architect, which is pretty fun to say as a parent. And now I don't, <laughs> I don't know. They may just tell people I'm homeless or something, but um, I don't know, I hope so. First part is remembering which ones there are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got samurai guy. You got the the lady warrior with the two swords. Right. right. You got the bulky blue guy with the spear and the, and the impressive oh. shoulder pads. Ooh, I like him. Looks like I he's think, playing bass for Guar. I think he's my favorite. And then you got. I think my favorite actually is the giant. So the five X warrior. If you're lucky enough to get that guy, he comes out and you think, oh, cool, it's a warrior with a hammer, and then he just gets like off the screen huge and smashes the symbols. That was pretty cool. I think I'd have... Oh, does that have to be from the game? I'll just... No, I don't think oh, okay, so. Okay. I, I think, think I'd any, have like... Any weapon. Like like a really, really big sword. It's like too heavy to pick up. So oh, it's yeah. not useful. Like, but it's like really an cool. anime sword? Yeah. yeah. I think we were missing like nunchucks. Mm -hmm. Something that's like flingy. I don't know, because of that reason, I might have to say right now is Diamond Force. I mean, Ancient Warriors is like kind of eclipsing it because I think it's awesome. And we took a lot of things we learned from Diamond Force, but Diamond Force is superheroes and I can't help it on a personal preference level. Right. I'm gonna enjoy the superheroes. Right. Uh, I'd probably go with Fortress Charge. I think that's a pretty a neat style of gameplay. I like it, it's yeah. pretty engaging. Plus I did some work on that that I, I quite like. Yeah. So, you know. Personally biased to like that. Right, right, right. Cool.